What is up, YouTube? Welcome to another episode of Post Customs Garage. And if you're looking at the title, you're probably like, what the heck? This isn't automotive related. We did get a new shop toy, and I figured I'd make, you know, a video on the new shop toy. And we're going to make a couple different attachments for it by using not the Walmart shopping cart. Ignore why that's there. But some of the older attachments we got with the Speed X 1631 from the 70s. So I figured I'd test the water with the tractor content since me and my dad both like tractors and we're currently rebuilding one just haven't really shown it on here but so if you like it you like it if you don't you don't i won't make another tractor video so without further ado let's start the tractor and put it in the shop and we'll do a little walk around this is a coyote cs something or other i can't really remember but it is the compact series um has a drive over 60 inch mower deck front end loader it's 24 and a half horsepower four wheel drive has the hydrostatic transmission uh three cylinder mechanical injection diesel so let's give her a start let's see this thing roll some coal oh oh it's a neutral not neutral there you go has a three-point system. Uh, this raises up if you want to put like a can canopy or a bimini or whatever. Toolbox, lights work. Um, let's see. Let's see the lights. They're actually really bright at night. Super bright. Brush guard. Like I said, drive over mower deck, which is really cool. And it's 60 inch uh, width. So it's pretty gnarly. And four wheel drive, you know, for all the mud we're gonna do in it. Not really. We have this blade as well that actually is actually does work we put it on last night and the three-point system works perfect with it then we have this mower deck some other stuff but the main thing is this plows so we're going to cut the plows off because we don't really need to use the plows on our property then we're going to rig up and weld a ball a two inch ball that way we can pull the trailer around wherever we want to other things etc two inches a two inch ball is pretty uh universal goes a lot of things so that's what we're gonna do this is the speed x 1631 that we're currently rebuilding we full we plan to fully restore this one um all the engine transmission parts are in there ignore that annoying chicken are in the shop but this is the other 1631 we have um don't know exactly what we're gonna do with it yet we're gonna use some of this for parts for that tractor because that one was that one was in the best shape but we may eventually keep this and use it for something else make a little ratty tractor out of it maybe put a 4260 in it i don't know that'd be kind of cool um or take it to swap meet and see if someone wants to buy it the walmart shopping cart uh just ignore this i that's a long story well let's go build uh, some tractor attachments and do some tractor stuff so dad explain to our audience what an aerator does pokes holes in the ground so that air and rainwater and fertilizer and grass seed can go in it because if the ground is compacted through either um, construction or in our case they put a new septic system in the front yard so all the ground has been compacted you need to go in and poke holes into it um, that's why we have water that just ponds instead of sinking into the soil and we're going to use this to break up the ground and so we can get some water in there, like you said, and uh, maybe hope, hopefully we can get some grass to grow. Yes. It doesn't look like a desert. Exactly. And start to crack and stuff like that and possibly cause, you know, issues down the road. So that's what this first attachment is. Like I said, is the uh, aerator and the spreader. That's just for like fertilizer and uh, stuff if you want to spread across your property or grass or whatever. So let's get the building. Uh, 
uh, side note, when doing this, do not try not to poke yourself with the little blades that area in the ground because you'll aerate your finger and cut yourself and blood will go everywhere so try not to do that the ninja blades slash aerator slash things that cut your fingers have all been made now we are assembling the rod that they go on to so that means you have to read the instructions for once it's usually around here we don't like reading instructions exactly okay we're back on working on the aerator because aerator, aerator whatever I'm 90% sure they gave us the wrong <laughs> hardware. Because there's supposed to be 10 quarter inch uh, bolts that are an inch and three fourths long. And that's what they gave us. So, we may be making a run up the track supply and getting the correct hardware. But for now, we're going to work on this. All right, the first attachment is done. Still don't understand what the point of those are, but. We're going to go test this thing out, then try to figure out the whole spreader situation. Hope you all enjoyed that little uh, awesome drive by with me and dad. We finally got out to work. We just found out that you need to put some weight on the back, which probably... Is why there's a shoulder right here so you can stock like put cinder blocks or bags of sand or whatever so we're going to try to figure something out so we figure that probably need between 200 and 250 pounds evenly spread across to get that right there so I figured to go in a lot deeper but I, I guess like dad said this is just to break the ground All right, let's see how this works now. So this, do this, and it drops the blades, like so. That orange thing's gonna break. See it flexing? Probably need to do this after wet ground. This guy has cruise control. Wow. Spoiled. Okay, so we got the fertilizer thing built with our custom, with the K, extension. So uh, we're gonna put some fertilizer in here, fertilize the yard, and you know, test it out. Now I'll give my honest review on this amazing quality piece. Honest review of this little unit. It was great. Served the purpose. Did the uh, fertilizing great. I will say though, it dumps a lot. So that is very sensitive. So you know, it's gonna take a trial and error, but once you pull it and it starts going, immediately start going on your tractor. That way it'll spread and won't clump up in one area. But I like it. It worked great, me and my dad love it, so thumbs up. Now we're gonna modify this to, we're gonna cut off or unbolt. Yeah, unbolt the plows of this attachment. That way we can kind of rig up a, uh, we bought a hitch ball that we can put it on there so we can pull the trailer around and stuff like that. Got the plows off. Now we're gonna weld up this old receiver we made for a past project and we're gonna reuse it. Are those your welds, Dad? No. Oh, I was gonna say yeah, that'd, be, the, that'd be awesome, wouldn't it? Those are pretty nice welds. But we're doing this instead of the ball, that way you can change out hitches and stuff like that if the balls change. So, uh, typical Piles Customs edition, we ran into a pickle. This piece right here is too small for the three-point system right here. So, yeah, a little triggering. So I'm not too sure what we're gonna do there, but I am glad we got the rest of the attachments built for this video and got to test them out. Won't be really modifying that in this video because like I said, I don't really know what exactly we're gonna do if we're gonna buy one or 
not too sure actually don't even really know other kind of option we have because i guess it's different grades i guess i guess a three-point system is standard and there's different levels of it and i guess that's the older system and a i guess a less of a grade i'm not too sure about tractor still learning everything but like i said i don't know what we're gonna do but with that being said i I am glad that we actually got some attachments built in this video. Got to show you all the tractor. It is a super cool addition to the garage. Gonna get a lot of stuff done around the shop and all that. And it's just gonna be a very huge help, especially with the fair lane. I can rip the axle out, put the axle on forks because we've got some forks coming in, so on back order. I got the axle and forks, can spray paint it and all that. So super happy about that. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I know this is a very unusual kind of video. It is tractor stuff, not really automotive, but I wanted to kind of test the waters and just, you know, film you know us just building the attachments and us using the tractor for the first couple of days just to show you all kind of what it all can do so still much to learn about the tractors and all that but if you like the content leave me that please leave me a comment uh like whatever let me know what you think about the video leave some feedback good or bad um if you want to see more tractor stuff let me know thank you so much for watching today's video hope to see you in the next one peace out